guys, today for Foodie Friday, we're making electric pressure cooker cabbage in our Ninja Foodie, all while having a whole lot of fun. Some nice and tender cabbage, total butter cabbage. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com and today for Foodie Friday we are doing a requested recipe. You guys asked me about that electric pressure cooker cabbage I had going on in the background in a previous video. So I thought I would hop on here and show you really quickly how to put it together. This is a fantastic side that you can make really quickly with, I, we oftentimes make it with barbecue chicken, barbecue ribs. Uh, fried chicken, um, just any kind of, if you like boiled cabbage or buttered cabbage, this is a really easy way to make it and probably the way that we make it the most. Um, so what I have is a head of cabbage that I've started chopping up here and I'm just putting it in pretty big size chunks up, uh, and I'm throwing it all over my kitchen. Um, the bigger you, especially with pressure cooker, you're going to want your chunks of your cabbage to be just a little bit bigger than bite size because you don't want it to overcook with the pressure because uh, that will make the cabbage really, really break down. So larger pieces will take just a little bit more time to cook um, in theory so that it can uphold uh, the pressure when we put this under pressure. So what we're going to do is just put these large chunks of cabbage in the pressure cooker. You can do this with any pressure cooker. You can do it with an instant pot if uh, you have one. Um, pretty much all you got to do is make sure that your cabbage can fit. And mine is pretty full if you can tell. So I have right now the stainless steel pot in and that's not because I need a stainless steel pot for this recipe. It's just because that was the clean one that was near the foodie when I decided to do this video. <laughs> so anyhow, so I have my head of cabbage all chucked up in there. I am going to add a cup of chicken broth. If you are using larger than a six quart, six and a half quart, you might want to add a cup and a half of broth just to make coming to pressure a little bit easier. I'm going to throw in a stick of butter. No need to chop it up. Our pressure uh, cooker will melt that definitely. Now I'm just adding salt and pepper to taste, keeping in mind that both my butter and my chicken broth have salt in it, so I can add more salt later. I'm going to just add a little bit now because that's a lot of vegetables to add just a little bit of flavor. Now, I'm going to locate my, uh, my pressure cooker lid, which is under my sink here in a moment, and I am going to put the lid on, seal it, and put it under high pressure for eight minutes. That's because my family really likes super tender um, cabbage. If you guys like a firmer cabbage, then I would reduce that cooking time even as much to five minutes. It will make a much firmer cabbage. We like a really nice, soft, melt-in-your-mouth cabbage. And so that's why I'm going eight minutes. If you want it even less uh, uh, or even more tender than how I like it, and you'll see how it is whenever I get it out of here, then you can go upwards of ten minutes. So it's completely up to you and what your preference is. But I'm going to locate that uh, lid, put it on, seal it, and cook it under high pressure for eight minutes. And I'll see you back here in three, two, one. And we are back. I've let this cook under high pressure for eight minutes. And then I popped it over to quick release. And it just now finished releasing. So I'm going to take this lid off. You can see how steamy it is. And I will show you what it looks like inside. Nice and tender cabbage, total butter cabbage. Okay, so it is nice and tender, and I'm just going to stir it up um, and let all the salt and pepper mix in with all that yummy butter. As you can see, it's super tender, so if you like it firmer than that, um, then you might, one, cut bigger pieces, or two, 
cook less time, either and or both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon a little bit of this out and come share it with you. I need to taste it to see if I need to add any salt anyways. So let's taste a little bit to see if I need to add some salt. Mm. I think it's pretty good. All right. So let's come and see. I didn't get one of the bigger pieces. Hang on. Grab one of the bigger pieces. There. Okay, so here is our cabbage. As you can see, that's about how tender the outer pieces are, but the inner pieces are very, very melty. So like I said, if you don't like it that way, um, because the more you reheat this, the, the more it is going to start to fall apart. So just keep that in mind, but it is perfect for how I like it. Um, right out of the uh, pressure cooker. Mm -mm -mm. Buttery, savory, perfect. And I've got a little thing, a little tip I'm going to share with you here in just a second. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect, perfect side dish. Now, as you guys might notice when you look at it there is tons of broth in there so I usually serve this as a side dish and I serve with a slotted spoon so that you can uh, get your cabbage out like that the broth though is quite amazing so tonight since I, I was knew I was making this video and I didn't want to well, frankly, I just washed all the dishes, so I didn't want to uh, get the kitchen all dirtied up again and have to wash them again to make another main. So what I decided to do tonight is make soup. So we've got cabbage, our cabbage, our broth. This is what we would normally have as a side, but tonight all I did was fry up some ground sausage here in my skillet while that was cooking, and I'm gonna add it right there to my um, cabbage and stir and all of a sudden I've made a complete other dish. The other thing you can also do with this is you can serve the cabbage as your side dish um, for your meal and then whatever cabbage you have left over you could use it um, the next day and add a pound of ground sausage or add some chopped ham and turn it into a soup the remainder so I love recipes that you can kind of do that with if you really really want to but that's this is what we're gonna have for dinner now we're gonna have I'm gonna switch out my slotted spoon for a ladle and ladle this up and everybody's gonna have sausage cabbage soup so if you like this video we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up if you're not already a member of the Craft Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe and become a member of our slow cooking, foodie loving, RV traveling family around here. Um, if you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the ding -a -ling. That's the bell down below and that will tell YouTube you want to know every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak live. Bye guys! stand here for 10 minutes fighting it so I can make it cook for eight. There we go. Hey guys, today we, oh. I'm not in this one. Then get out of it. RV living, y'all. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.